What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft on Magic Online. We are going to keep flying these bad boys. I don't think that makes any sense. We're going to keep firing these bad boys until we no longer can. I like Elspeth a lot here. Because she's very good. I also like Cultivate. We haven't done a green deck in a while, but Elspeth might be so much better than Cultivate that it might not be that close. I think it's probably Elspeth. The thumbnail should be Mulan. Wow. All right. What's sail back? What are you saying right now? Yeah, it's got to be Elspeth. I think I would take the... I think I would take the Cultivate over the El over the Nissa. Oh, I like I like Baneslayer Angel a lot too. They're just giving me the perfect white deck. Baneslayer Angel is always a card I play in cube, and I always expect it to just be terrible. And it's always just fantastic. I think Josh, I think Cultivate is pack one pick oneable in this in the in the modern cube. Yes, I think because it's a little weaker. So the faster you can get your big cards out, the better. But I'm not sure. Oh, we can just play Mono Angels. Eh, it's probably Metamorph here, right? Oh, you are you talking about you're talking about Sailback in general, like the 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 actual just the dinosaur in general, right? Or are you talking about the uh, the snapping Sailback? Because it's basically the same. They're all the same dinosaur, right? Like that's probably the same species. The same. Is there a dinosaur called a Sailback? It's got to be, right? I guess they're called Demetrodons. I'm gonna take the Phyrexian Metamorph. I like Metamorph over Queller. This is this copies things. I think Queller's. I think Queller is significantly worse than Metamorph. I mean, I'll let them resolve their spell. I'll just copy whatever it is. I could care. I could care less. What if we go green white and we take this Virtuous Gear Hulk and then we put all the counters on a Bane Slayer Angel? Can we do that? Archangel will probably come back. I I have a feeling about it. Right, Liliana. Do we want to try the the black white deck again? I don't know what the pick is here. Black white. I've been hurt before. Liliana seems like the best pick in this pack, though. I like Reflector Mage, but I really don't want to be blue white either. That's why I'm leaning towards green white or red white because we just haven't done it yet. I definitely don't think it's Isamara. This is not an Isamara deck. <laughs> How is this an Isamara pick, Josh? Oh my god, that's hilarious. Actually, it probably could have been Kitchen Finks. I don't think Kitchen Finks would have been a bad pick. I forgot it was... I, <laughs> you're going to laugh. I don't even want to say it, to be quite honest. I'm not even going to say it anymore. I think it's one of these two guys. Oh, uh, I don't think... I think Linvala is one of the least strong six drops in this format. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, I think Linvala is one of the least... Like, I would take Sun Titan right here because I think Sun Titan is fantastic. And in that case, I would never play Linvala because it's already too... Um, I do not think Sword of Feast and Famine is going to wheel. I actually think it's sort of Feast and Famine here. Like, this is one of the better swords. I'm going to go with the Sword of Feast and Famine. Don't care about this sword. I think Hero of Bladehold is probably the pick here. Well, a sword, not that sword. Have we seen other swords? I have played a Sun Titan. Yeah, I think it's Hero Blade Hold. Hero Blade Hold is very strong. This is our only black card right now. We could just take a Johnny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, there's nine cards. One card's coming back, so we're probably going to see uh, Stromkirk Noble on the wheel. This Dahlia is also pretty problematic for people. I think it's actually Thalia here. I don't feel like committing to red when we just have a Thalia here.
Interesting. We could just do we just do it again? Do we just red white a tally? I think based on our picks so far, it's probably just Angel of Jubilation. Sure. I, mean, I like Devour Flesh. I like Tidings a lot too, but we already have a Liliana, which is a very good pick. God, Tidings is so good though. All right, we're going to go. We're going to do it. Oh, Isolated Chapel. Get rewarded. Probably better than Graveborn Muse. Yeah, we definitely want the fixing over the Graveborn Muse. And the Archangel came back, just like we expected. <laughs> All right. Interesting. It's probably just Linvala here. I can see that being fine. This is interesting. I if we were blue, I would have taken Soldier. Uh, but considering we're black, I took Spirit because our odds of drawing more than one card a turn are not super high. So we might be able to get our opponent with Spirit more than they get us. Hmm, it's your boy. Yeah, considering the last three packs were mono white cards, white does seem pretty open now. I kind of want to maximize life gain cards. I really wish we took the, uh, the Kitchen Finks. What do we even take? What do we even take over it? Liliana? That would have changed the draft, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, believe me, you don't have you don't have any idea how close I am to taking this obliterator. Oh, we don't have any black creatures. Like. Yeah, I think it is victim of night, but I'm really close to taking Night's Whisper just because of uh color restrictions. I don't want to start picking up all the double black cards when we only have one fixing land. I kind of like Knight's Whisper more. Also, we have a bunch of ways to gain life, so I think it's actually a little bit better. Yeah, we can get more removal. We're not going to... Card drawing is probably at a premium in this... Well, this pack is... Pretty ridiculous. Oh. I think it is Soren. I really like the Signet, but I think it is Soren. Soren is... I'm extremely fond of Soren. I would take Orzhov Signet over and treat a thousand times. One thousand times. Just take Bristlebrand. I don't know if that's the pick. That's a funny card. I guess it's just Blood Gift Demon. It could be Revel Arc. I don't. What do we have for Revel Arc? Two power or less. Like nothing. Like we can literally get one imposing sovereign right now. It's our only card we can get back with uh, Revel Arc. And Metamorph is good, I guess. I also don't hate Crystal Brand just to have it in the sideboard in case we have some shenanigans. I'm just gonna. I don't think this is a great pack for us. I'm just gonna take the Crystal Brand, just in case. That's a nice little reward. Also worth noting for those interested, Profane Command definitely overperformed in the draft we had it. Uh, we had Profane Command one draft. It was just insane. Uh, usually you just win on the spot. You give all your guys fear. 
and you either drain them or kill one of their relevant guys. We have two creatures for Revelark, not zero. We have Metamorph and Imposing Sovereign. Neither, I, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to play Imposing Sovereign. We're just going to take Obzid out, though. I will 100% take Chromatic Lantern in the black-white deck. That is an insane way of fixing this mana situation. Uh, Glorious Anthem can go. Yeah, this is both life gain and uh, really mana intensive. Like, I don't want Mind Stone. I like Mind Stone in general. I don't want it in this kind of deck because uh, Whip of Erebos is also a card that's just insane. Uh, so we're going to take Whip of Erebos. Uh, I don't want Mind Stone because the, the mana requirements in black-white decks are usually extremely high. Uh, as you can see, two white, two black, white, black, double white, double white, double white, double white, triple white, double black. Like, they're usually utterly insane. Double black. Also, with the whip with opposite out is very, very good. And we're going to take this Gideon. I really hope that Signet comes back, but... I feel like some of you guys might be a little bit behind. <laughs> I've seen this draft before. Yeah. I think I've seen it twice so far, to be quite honest with you. I like Skin Render here. I, we could take the Angel of Jubilation out, I think. And just play Skin Render instead. Especially with Whip of Erebos. That's pretty good. Why are you coming back, dude? Come on. Oh, this guy's actually very good with Chromatic Lantern. I can't. I can't pass. I can't pass a Phyrexian Obliterator. It's too good, man. It's too good. Well, the Signet. We do have Chromatic Lantern as well, so. Yeah. Is this good? This guy might be very good. I think this guy's probably better than Bygone Bishop in our deck. So, whatever. I'm going to sideboard these guys for now. Let's see what happens. I mean, we had Chromatic Lancer. We'll see what happens. If we get, like, Caves of Koilos, Godless Shrine, and Pack 3, I don't think it's even unreasonable to play Obliterator. Messenger's actually pretty good. What if we're just much heavier black now? What if we are Angel Tribal? We have three angels in the sideboard. I don't like you. I don't. I definitely don't like you. I hate this card. Hey, we found a Path to Exile. I would 100% take this Immortal Sun, uh, but we have two really good, three really good Planeswalkers, four really good Planeswalkers, so... Definitely taking the path of exile, path to exile, and uh, calling it a day. Ideally, the uh, the hero's downfall will, will table, but. Massacre Worm, huh? Brimaz. Look at these mana requirements, dude. Take Scarab God. I mean, we have Chromatic Lantern. I actually don't think it's, uh... I don't think it's impossible. Oh, and then rip it in half. Okay. <laughs> well, alright. I can see what you're... I can see what you're getting at here. The Planeswalkers make tokens. Two for Sublime, that's true. We also have uh, Glorious Anthem in the sideboard. And uh, Sublime Archangel... Not Sublime Archangel, uh... What is it called? Angel of Jubilation? Brimaz also makes some tokens. It's got to be Brimaz, right? I do like a big dumb hee-haw mouth, but I don't think I want more six drops. There it is. There's the Caves of Koilos. But good lord, we got to pass Journey Nowhere, Banishing Light, and a Gary when we have Giralf's Messenger, Phyrexian Obliterator. 
Oh, what up, Willie G? Cut the white. I mean, our white's pretty good. And we're definitely taking Caves of Coilos here. But, boy, I really hope one of these cards comes back. We have Hypnotic Spectre and Liliana Spectre in the same cube, and that's really weird to me. I can see playing I can even see playing Vraska in this deck. Off of Lantern. I don't think Vanguard's that good, but I mean he's good, but just I don't know if he's good in our deck. You can't be throwing these one and two mana aggressive creatures into your deck like that. Oh, I'm also a big Night Vale Spectre fan. This is definitely not Hypnotic Spectre. It's not even a 2 2. I'm just going to take the, the two mana guy. I think it's probably the best for our deck. Pack Rat. Probably has to be Pack Rat, right? You're just going to win games with Pack Rat, right? Let's just go pack rat. Shouldered. I don't, are there any reanimation cards in this cube? Like, I haven't seen any reanimation cards. Like, there's nothing to... I guess Whip of Erebos, but, like, that doesn't leave it in play. There's no makeshift mannequin. There's unburial rights, I guess. But then again, there's no way to discard things, really. So it's, like, it's kind of weird. I guess Pack Rat does that too. So I guess we got Pack Rat and Whip. These are the two, uh, the two cards that are. I mean, I think it's Shouldered. I don't think it's Brain Maggot here. Shouldered's actually just a very good top end. Oh, we got the Godless Shrine too. My God, my God. Look, we got the Godless Shrine and the Caves of Quellus. The two lands we were like, well, if we get these two lands, it's very good. I'm gonna take Ultimate Price. And the Hero's Downfall came back. We have it all, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty insane. And Massacre Room came back, ladies and gentlemen. We have it all. This is pretty insane. And the Journey to Nowhere came back, guys. All right. Well, this deck turned into something beautiful. My god. Three fixing lands. Ultimate price. Heroes down, fall on the wheel. Let's take Wear Tear. Anguished Unmaking comes back. Sure. Why not? Our entire sideboard is black and white cards that we could uh, swap in and out. I guess we're taking out the Dross Messenger. I really like Dross Messenger as a card. This card has been wrecking me in this cube because it's really hard to deal with. But in the black-white deck, it's probably a little bit uh, ambitious. Probably taking out a Danto Vanguard. Not, just don't care about that card at all. Probably also taking out Spirit of the Labyrinth, I guess. Probably just taking out Sword, too. Like, this doesn't feel like a Sword deck. <laughs> Even a Johnny's fine. If Frank plays, D well, I would play Diablo three over Diablo two if that's what you're referring to. So we need one more cut. God, our sideboard is insane, dude. Subscribing if you win a game where Obliterator was cast. Well, I don't know if we're that ambitious, but boy, we want to be. Two cuts. Looks like I need one cut, right? I'm not. <laughs> we're not playing Sublime Archangel in this deck. Oh, uh, I disagree. That Diablo three has Necromancer. What are you talking about? They literally put Necromancer in Diablo three like two years ago. What are we cutting for Obliterator? If we play Obliterator, you greedy sons of biscuits. 
there's so many cards in like let's just play 60 card deck right how many cards do you need for 60 32 34 35 There we go. 24 lands. Deck is good to go. I think the differences between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3 are uh, minimal enough for me to overlook them so that I get to look at a better game, uh, which is Diablo 3. Like it, it just looks so much nicer to me because it's not 15, 20 years old, however old Diablo 2 is. So... Um, for me, that's a huge selling point, which is why I I liked playing StarCraft 2 a lot more than I like playing Brood Wars, even though Brood Wars was like the traditional StarCraft experience. Uh, I like playing Diablo 3 more than like Diablo 2. I like updated graphics and, and just a, a smoother visual experience, a more polished visual experience so much more than I enjoy a minimally, like a, like a, a marginally better gameplay experience from the older the older uh, versions of those games. <laughs> I feel like mistakes have been made. We've gotten we've gotten too close to the sun here. Let me look up the Diablo's 2's release date. Wow, 2000. Diablo 2 was 18 years ago, guys. That is an 18-year-old game. All right, so let's be real. Let's sort by color. Can we take all the white out? Almost. <laughs> Almost. Wow, that's kind of funny, actually. And then we can just splash for these three off of these in the chromatic lantern. All right, now let's see what the mono white deck looks like. This is comical that we can actually could do this. We could actually just board into the different color decks each round. This is <laughs> it still works. Oh my god. Oh, we can cut red cap obviously. Wow. So hold on. We'll save this one as... How do we open a new copy of this deck? We'll call it mono... We'll call it mono white. Twelve. Actually, we could probably play one, one swamp here. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Why are you still giving me one land less than I need? All right, save you. Add you to the sideboard. And cut all these white cards. Sort by color. This is going to be pretty hilarious. This is actually going to be a draft for the ages. I don't know if we're going to do it. I don't know if we're going to do it. But either of these decks look fine. So, now we're going to add mono swamps here. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, two swamps. So 17 lands. Nope. Yep, 17 lands. We get to add one more card. Like one more white card, presumably. Probably path. So we're going to Oh god, we didn't save it. This is so confusing. This is stupid interface. Save and continue. Whatever. We're going to have to redo one at least if we save and continue. All right. Well, that's cool. Rename Call you mono black. 
That's dumb. Add. Can't just click add all. There's no like add all button. Wow, that's that's something. That's something. Oh, you get out of here, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky demon. What are we doing here? Did we play these decks? Let's let's rename this because I'm a I'm a real stickler for and uh, cancel save this deck as mono white and our primary deck. What's our primary deck going to be? Not you, not you, probably not you. Bring in Devour Flesh, Night's Whisper, Pack Rat, Ultimate Price. Anthem can go. Anguish on making is kind of meh. I guess it's actually pretty good. Downfall, Liliana. No gold main. No sublime. No angel of jubilation. Bring in skin render. Obliterator. Red cap. No Linvala. Probably no archangel of thune. I don't know how much life gain we have. Just like basically Baneslayer and Obsidant. I guess Soren also gains life, but we don't have that many creatures is the problem, so probably cutting you and cutting the sword. Whip comes in. Shielded comes in. This is still 24. Why are you over there? And this is 24 cards. So we need one more card here. Whip does give lifelink, which is actually... All right. You've sold me on it. Now we need two cuts, though. Sell you on Whip in this deck? Um, Whip is insane in most decks. They, lay, they let you, It lets you survive against the aggressive creature decks. Uh, Messenthrope, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Uh, it lets you survive against the aggressive creature decks. It also... Uh, lets you get back utility creatures like Skin Render or Murderous Red Cap. Um, if we have Obsidat, it lets you get Obsidat back. And then you actually never lose Obsidat this way because if they end up killing it, you get to exile it again. And then you exile it with its own ability rather than the whip ability, so you get to keep it forever. Um, getting back a Metamorph is pretty good because you can just get it back. Like, I mean, I think whip is under whip is, whip is underappreciated in this format. It's been phenomenal for me every single time I can see cutting shield or it actually but I do like having a card like that at the top end all right so seven six 13 40, 50, 60. why why is it giving you like one short land every time that's super weird this is actually pretty even I think we're going to err on the side. If it's not, actually, it's going to be even. It's going to be 7-7, seven, seven, right? Yeah. This is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 black sources. We need four of them for Obliterator or just a Chromatic Lantern. I like those odds. Uh, cut Obliterator is probably not happening just because it is Phyrexian Obliterator. Come on, you should know that. You should know that, Jeb. What up, beer man, man? John, it's good to be good to be seeing you more regularly now, buddy. You guys think take out Obliterator? I think I think Obliterator for Shieldred is fine. This is actually building these decks has been a lot of work. I'm gonna save this as the primary deck. And then we get to look at this sweet mono white version and this sweet mono black version. And it's actually pretty cool. Oh, Chad. Why? Why do you have to... Well, now, we, now we're now 3 ing guys. Chad has Chad has joined us, so we're 3 ing
My problem with Mascarum is that sometimes it just doesn't do anything. Uh, I have been starting to stream at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, so if you guys haven't uh, marked your calendars, please feel free to do that. I'm trying to be more of a scheduled streamer now, so you guys know exactly when to expect me. And we're going to see how that goes. Can I see the Simic version? Thanks. Um, yeah, actually, hold on. Let's make a new deck. Here, we can put the Simic version together. Uh, I believe it looks like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like, I'm pretty sure this is the Simic version if we want to try this out too. Oh, actually, hold on. My bad. There we go. So we can actually just board into this too. Can you imagine if we just literally boarded into this deck? It'd be actually ridiculous, right? All right, I'm going to get rid of this. We're going to actually play this match. I hope you guys have not minded. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I hope you guys haven't minded this ridiculousness that we're doing. But I do actually like the potential of the mono white and the mono black versions. So there are still potentials for, for night and evening streams, yes. Same as there was before. I would... Oh, this is the mono black version. I was like, why is this guy in here? I'm just going to play... We're going to play the black white version and see how this does. And then... I think shielded might be worse than just something cheaper, right? Like, what if I put this guy on a brim as? That seems good, right? Six in the air with vigilance. I agree. Herald of Torment seems good. Chad's getting angry about the, about the shouldered cut, though. I'm going to cut the Devour Flesh for uh, for a Herald. Yeah, I think this is better. All right, let's play this. I don't hate it. What are our key plays? We got a double black. No, we got we have double black on three and double white on three. So this, this hand actually does everything we want it to. I'm just gonna draw a, a swamp here. Oh, planes. My bad. I got confused clearly. This is a situation where we just uh, draw all the all the lands and then we're like oh we're at the mercy of the black white deck again because you can't actually get too far ahead with this deck you actually just if they can deal with all your threats on a one for one basis and then they can refill their hand they come out ahead oh that is a den protector that is a good draw I'm not going to exile this den protector I'll just play opposite at next turn AKA Obza Daddy. Oh, it's a Radical Mystic. Well, here comes Acidic Slime killing our Chromatic Lantern. Like you do. <sighs> it's just unreal sometimes. <laughs> Why don't you choose to not say the worst damn thing? I don't know. I don't know. 
because sometimes I convince myself that I don't have any control over the situations that uh, that affect me in my life, and uh, every time it, it proves to be untrue. I can simply will the universe to do what I want by simply mentioning the thing that I want. This guy is an enchantment, which is a weakness. That is a progenitor mimic on your acidic slime. Oh my god. I'm having a good time. I just want you guys to know that I'm having a good time. I'm going to exile that thing. How much damage we're taking? We've got to take one from Caves of Coilos. we got to take one from Herald of Tor... What are you cracking this for, man? You just literally just crack it during my upkeep? That's a weird thing to do. That's a weird thing to do, man. Get that dude out of my face. Banner. I look devastated because I don't know what's going to happen, right? I'm just predicting the worst thing that could happen. And then it ends up happening. We should actually be at 16. We should have just blocked last turn, I guess. I don't know. Primeval Titan? Hornet Queen. Oh, for crying out loud. How do we deal with that? How does the black-white deck deal with that if you don't have a wrath effect? <sighs> this is exactly what I mean. We're trying to play a one-for-one -one game, and they're like five-for-one-ing us. Acidic Slime's a two-for-one. Progenitor Mimic has been a two-for-one, and Hornet Queen has been a five-for-one. So, like, we just can't compete with that. And we're definitely bringing in Masquerum, 1,000%. Like, if we just draw Masquerum here, what is it? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. They, do, they take 14. That's pretty insane, right? Now they take 16. Wow, that would be insane. That's actually a great draw. I think I figured out what we could have drawn. Knights of Sticks and Trojan Rage. Thank you guys so much for the sub, even though it was mostly Trad, mostly Trojan Rage, but... Thank you so much, Chad. You are awesome, dude. I'm just going to blink this guy out because... What do we even block here? Hornet Queen? I guess they just kill our guy. They have two cards in hand, so I'm sure they have an answer for our one Bane Slayer Angel to kill us and win. Did we pass on Yehenny's expertise? We did, but... Plus two more, so it can't be a crater hoof. I guess that's I guess we got that going for us. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Your deck is dumb and you should feel dumb. <laughs> Alright, bring in this guy, take out this guy. Probably bringing in this guy, taking out Take out Herald of Torment. I mean, it really doesn't feel like... I don't feel like I'm that salty. Like, I just made a few comments and now I'm done, right? I mean, Baneslayer seems great against them, right? But, I mean, I agree with you that there are... What does the mono black deck look like?
No, I think the white. I think the the double color deck looks better, uh, with some changes to it. Bring in red cap. Take out Harold. Bring in Devour Flesh. We can go to forty one here. I'll I'll allow it. Uh, keep. Presuming you don't have a third turn acidic slime again, I guess we're. I guess we can be in good shape. Yeah, I definitely like Red Cap and Bane Slayer Angel here, so. Uh, this cube has like four black board weights. It has Black Sun Zenith, it has Damnation, and it has um, Yanni's Expertise at least. Like, there are three black board wipes. I mean, the only thing it's really missing is like Languish and Mutilate. Sad. Is this where we don't hit a third land? Yes, it is. Well, I guess we can Knight's Whisper. That's kind of like hitting a third land. Oh, in response, I'll sack my snake. Sure. Several black day of judgment effects. Oh my god, you're ridiculous. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, Mindstone. What is this you're going to do? Sure. I'm not going to kill this guy yet because maybe this can lead to their ultimate demise with a massacre room. I see. Okay. Okay. What do we do? Both on the bottom? Okay. That's a good value. That's the ally of Zendikar, guys. You guys know about the ally? What do you guys know about the ally of Zendikar? They only have four mana, so that's good. Unless they go Nissa, hit a, hit a land, play a land, duplicant. Some heroes don't wear capes. I hope Bob, I hope Bob's cleric. Um, this is actually our third for, foray into black white. If you missed any other drafts, feel free to take a look at them on uh, on YouTube. But typically, I have not had a great record with black white decks. So, I mean, I would consider this a leap simply because uh, I'm going against my previous experience of losing with black white decks. So. That is not scary. Say goodbye to your Nisa. Maybe not. Maybe they just kill it. Like Path to Exile. Her.
Did we get a free Nissa kill? Oh. Oh, the value is so real. Five life and kill Planeswalker. That's all I've ever wanted. Kind of gassy today. Too many spicy meatballs? For Are you talking to me? Am I gas? I didn't know I was gassy. Yeah, we'll blink you out. I don't foresee our opponent attacking. What was their scry looking like? Both on the bottom again. Alright, so they put four cards on the bottom. Sure. Packham's McRadams. Let's get down to business to defeat. They gave us daughters and they asked for sons. If we attack with Obzidat, they can just double block and pump this guy. Which very well might just kill them next turn, but... I think we're fine without attacking with Obzidat. We can just keep blinking. Unfortunately, we can't kill a Hangerback Walker with ultimate price, but, you know, that's the ultimate price you gotta pay, I guess. So you got a six drop? Duplicate? Always duplicate, right? Every game. Every game with this duplicate guy. Yep. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to path to exile your duplicate. And then we're going to attack with Obzidad. And then we're going to massacre him your entire life. Giving away the, the big plans here. These are my friends. Attacking you with my friends. Oh, dang. Oh, man. Yeah, we're going to play this. We're not getting censored here. Ozzy Rock, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy work. Or don't. I'm not your dad. Massacre Worm. You and Mike are the best. I try to watch all your YouTubes. Thanks for the great entertainment. Anytime, man. Kind buds, thank you so much for saying so. Those are some kind words. <laughs> I do like Sword of Feast and Famine here, but I don't think I like it better than anything else we have. I think our deck is actually pretty okay. I'm a little bit disheartened at Eldritch Evolution and Duplicant twice, but I swear you're in a dark cabal intent on getting silly songs stuck in my head. The only thing I don't know is why. You'll never know why. 
I'll never, I'll never tell. This hand actually seems good because I don't know if they have a way to deal with pack ride. And even if they don't, we can just actually go turn two, turn three, turn four. Don't be scourge right mindstone. All right, now we can actually play pack ride and not. Mm, turn six. All right. You should still be singing Mulan. Wow, this is a lot of ramping they're doing. I'm not comfortable with it, but. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're gonna have seven mana this turn. What are we afraid of them doing on seven mana? Killing our swamp, I guess? Exploring is not the thing we're afraid of them doing on seven mana. I am also really hyped for uh, for Dominaria. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you get eight mana. God. Thalia tapping down any creature they play right now and us having Hero of Bladehold, is that just insane? Like, what do they take next turn? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, if we make another rat. pernicious dude why oh yeah this is good for us can we just whip of Erebos here how much life do we gain if we whip of Erebos like a million like a thousand million Put you on the bottom. Don't believe it. I guess they go two here. So we gain 13. <laughs> okay, pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty. And all your blockers come to play tapped now. Good deal. Oh, the desperation. The desperation fetch. How do I do the math and then forget the math? Did I, I, I think I meant how much do we gain? Like, I don't think I meant how much do we do? Oh man, oh man. Now you have three mana to find your answer. And we have one, two, three, four, five. We have seven guys with all of at least two power each. Good games. Blah. Unless they go out of red. Uh, nope. Never mind. We did. Oh, this deck was this deck was never in doubt. This deck is saucy. 
And a deck primary deck. Yeah, let's just bring Massacorum in. Maybe it's just a thing to do in this cube. It's lifelink. You do the same number of damage you do. That's smart. Thank you, Chad. Chad, always a pleasure, buddy. <laughs> oh, you sassy scumbag, you. I'm going to make some changes. I'm bringing the red cap instead of the, uh, the herald. I don't like the amount of damage we're poised to take. We got Anguish Unmaking. We have Phyrexian Metamorph. We have a Caves of Koilos. All right, these are our changes. I'm watching this clip. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. All right, cool. I like that. That's a good clip. I mean, I'm not saying Masquerade is, is better than Shieldred. I just like the potential that it presents. This hand is... I like this hand. I just hope they're not too quick. You fire a musket ball, run you through. Gotta hate pernicious dude. You fire a musket, I hate pernicious dude. Why do you get this? Why do you, why do, you do this to me? Oh, our opponent to five on the draw. That should give us, or on the play, that should give us enough time to to bone up on our strategies here. What the hell does that mean? What's he saying right now? Music Manly, don't you start too, buddy. I'm almost tempted to do just kill this guy now. At the beginning of your end step, if you permit you control both the battlefield this turn, I'm just gonna wait. That's what revolt. Does. Yeah, okay. I'm thinking of. Uh, I'm thinking of what's the what's the one from like the M set, the core set, Magic Origins, not Revolt, Renown. I think it's Renown. Um, we can play this, but it doesn't ramp us in anything. We have two four drops that both can both can be played next turn. So I'd rather just kill this now before they suddenly have an answer. I also like it better since we have uh, Gideon next turn, and if they don't have anything on the board, it's pretty good. What what are you, what is that you're doing right now, Chad? Oh my God! I just want to write code. Wow! I don't know what this is. That's because I have an English degree. <laughs> I don't understand your fancy math and jargon. <laughs> oh, resolves. Okay. Okay. He's going to crash the chat. <laughs>
quarantine field. How dare you? Do you treat your mother like this? Beer man, man, I actually imagine you would get fired for posting game code. Having interviewed with them, I, I, I definitely got the impression that uh, that kind of stuff is a big deal. You always put the... I hit okay. I hit it again. I always put the plus one on the bottom. I can pay some costs here, huh? It's pretty good. It ain't that good, though. You like this post-combat whip of Erebus we're going to do? I don't know why we did that, but whatever. Actually, maybe we just copy the whip of the, uh, the hero. I think they're dead either way, right? We'll just play whip so we can get back hero. Send me an angel. Oh. Uh, no, they they sent my opponent an angel, but then we just killed it, so that wasn't a big deal. Still no disenchant in our sideboard, huh? Really wish we had one. I guess we have this. That's actually probably pretty good against the white deck. And if we get that lantern, we can even kill a, a white thing. Uh, or an artifact is what I meant, not a white thing, because saying a white thing doesn't make any sense there. Dang it. Ship in this hand. Sure, I'll keep this significantly worse hand. Mono black hand with two planes, mono white hand with two two swamps. Sounds good. Let's draw planes planes, and then we won't feel bad about these these game decisions that they're making for us. Wow, really? You're gonna start with a student of warfare, huh? Okay. A swamp is actually very good. Uh, it's, it's similar to a planes in that you can tap it for mana, but uh, if you guys didn't know, it produces a different color of mana, which is black mana instead of white mana. Uh, if you guys hadn't noticed, our hand is entirely white cards. That is another white card. And, uh, you know. So, funny, funny story. Our deck now has Phyrexian Obliterator mana, naturally. Uh, yet it has no way to actually cast any of the spells in our hand. <sighs> wow, that was actually a very good draw. If we can draw white, white, I feel like we got a game here, right? That was a sick skin render. There we go. This guy's getting huge. You still have 3-3, huh? Okay. Uh, I'll take three. Well. You didn't do anything at the end of your turn. That's interesting. Still no blocks. Got, we're at four. We got we got a life. We got a life to live. And yeah, they didn't do anything. Oh, good lord! 
You gots to be kidding me. Apparatus 25. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. You gotta be joking. This is an utter... This is an utter disaster. This is what utter vomit looks like, guys. You are witnessing it right now. You gonna kill this guy? You're just gonna flash an Avacyn. Alright, that's cool. Wow, what a... What a ridiculous... What a ridiculous is all I'm saying. Bringing in this removal. Our deck seems so good. I'll take out the Massacre Room now. All we saw was Student of Warfare, I think. So... All right, now we're talking. Keep. Keep, Schmeep. Been watching your drops all weekend. You figure out to throw yourself. Man, I love it. I love when people from, from YouTube, I'm looking at you guys, uh, have appreciated the content so much that they actually come to the live stream and support with the sub. That is the, like, the coolest feeling ever because it's like the cross, like you're, you're crossing the streams. Which is a Ghostbusters reference and not a awkward urinal reference. So keep that in mind. I'm fairly certain we drew every white card and close to every swamp in our deck. So yeah. We're trapped forever. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Uh, it's not good. No, uh, I can't do anything yet. I am looking forward to Baneslayer Angel because that's a card. And Skin Render, that's a card. No Jasmine's. I haven't had Jasmine's for like five years because YouTube. Uh, Report puts copyright claims on my there's copyright claims on my videos so I can't I can't upload anything with there when there's jazz. Yeah, I'm in three. No worries, buddy. I appreciate the uh, the, the the support in other ways like just watching the content or checking out the stream when you can. All of that helps. Also, congrats on the new house. I could get my own live jazz band for streams. I think if we hit the 300 sub mark, I think that's what we're going to do. So. <laughs> oh, God. That's a good quote. I appreciate that quote. Pernicious Dude, can you play bass for us? That's pretty sweet. I think if you don't have a stand-up base, it's going to be more awkward because that's really uh, what we're looking for. I'm real tempted to just copy this. But I think we can play Hero instead because that's a good card. Don't path me, bro. You know what that is? That is Green Day. Brimaz, that's the king of cats. <laughs> Skin render for an hour or two. Don't mana tide me, bro, right now. 
I'm putting counters on your cat king and I'm attacking with hero. Burr, 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 burr. Oh, what is this? Condemn. I wish it was path. I would have rather had the land, to be quite honest with you. This Burmaz looks like <laughs> looks like hot shit right now. I mean, oh one, sir. Well, yeah, whatever, man. Nobody cares about your problems, Burmaz. Oh, they do have Avacyn, though, don't they? They have Avacyn every every game, don't they? I guess we can just pass here, right? They've had it every game, right? Yeah, it's just a blood if they have it. I'll just let them waste their turn if they don't want to cast it. Oh, they're just going to crack. Hmm. Ambitious. Unless you have Dictate of Heliod. This seems like if there was a Dictate of Heliod deck, this would be it. Oh, this is not going to work how you think it works because you are not attacking with three dudes. You're attacking with two dudes. Oh, interesting. Uh, no, block you, block you, and block you. Change the channel for an hour or two. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? Oh my god, we have so much life right now. Good thing the worm came out. That's that's not a that's not a thing we say in a in a Magic the Gathering stream. This well, how come can you guys um can you guys explain to me in the best uh the most efficient way why Baneslayer doesn't have double lifelink? Is that a thing you guys can do for me? Oh now they're gonna now they're gonna do a thing. Okay, that's fine. I accept that. I accept your terms. <laughs> it died. Wow. Okay. Well. Tempted to just discard a land here. Actually, maybe we discard the wear tear if they don't do anything. We'll just play the land. Six mana is where I want where I want to be. So. That's gas, dude. That is just gasoline, my friend. Oh, look at all these little cuties gaining vigilance right now. C. 
sick of all the fun like How many rats can we make? Like a million? Like 30, 30 friggin' rats? Hey, how many rats can we make? Uh, 30 rats, huh? I think they're... I think Pat Rats... Pack Rat is gonna do the business here. You're gonna do the business, huh? Okay. So they can go block, block. I guess this guy's can stay home, right? Cutie Lance? What's a cutie Lance? Is that like an ambulance for cuties? Do you think the mana in MTG is outdated? Like what, they should have like a, like a newer model? All right, well, this is all fine. These are my rats. Look at them go. You're gonna counter a thing, and that's really sad. I lost all my rats. Well, rats. It's cutie vigilance? Oh, well, that's something. I don't know if these new Phyrexia mirrors are really cuties, I'll be honest with you. They look like more like nightmare machines. They have one card in hand? All right. We got this. This is Xaxes. Lethal. Got him. Look at our deck. Look at our deck, dude. Look at our blue white deck. Our black white deck. It's uh coming back from the ashes. All right, let's see if we can 3-0. Can we do it? I will play first. Hands good. Hands looking good. Looking good. I told my opponent not to cry yet. Seemed like they were crying. I just don't want you to be emotional. Can you not get emotional yet? Change the channel for an hour or two. Twiddle my thumbs just... I'm just going to keep singing Green Day and you guys are going to be like, Frank, be careful. Your video is going to get demonetized. And I'm going to be like... Yeah, you're right. Oh my god, that was the greatest draw I've ever seen. I've drawn some cards in Magic the Gathering, and that was probably the best one I've ever drawn. Look at these two cards that we can play on turn two. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh my god, I love it. I, f I absolutely love it. So this is someone who's in the uh, the uh, the subscriber Discord. His name is they go by Check, 
and uh, that's hilarious. Well, I guess now we're playing Brimaz, aka Big Brims, aka Cat Daddy, aka Tom Haverford. I don't know how we got there, but I wanted to make a Parks and Rec reference, so I did. A Parks and Rec reference, if you will. <laughs> I hope you will. Uh oh, don't do something crazy. Don't oblivion ring. Oh, you can't oblivion ring. All right, all right. Oh, look at that little. Look at that little dude. Give me one land so I can... Just give me one. Why didn't you do it? Why didn't you give it to me? I asked you nice and everything. <laughs> I too like when Frank is happy. That's good times. Can we just get in there with Brimaz? I don't really want you to trade here. I don't want you to do that. I'm just gonna pass. We got we got we got things to do. We got ultimate prices. We got cat. We got cats and rats. This is a good deck. Sometimes I look for art for the art for cards uh, for thumbnails for the YouTube videos, and I'll search for things, and I have to like be conscious of what's gonna show up. Like so, if I look for pack rat, I actually have to specify that it's MTG pack rat and not just like. A hoarder. <laughs> Here's pictures of hoarders. Is that what you're looking for? No, I I just wanted the art for the for the pack rat card. Hmm. I'm gonna kill this guy because if we draw land, Liliana kills Dahlia. Whereas if we kill Thalia, Liliana, I don't want to kill either of these guys. So we didn't draw land. We drew another six drop. Uh, they're they're close. They're very similar. And I would prefer had to have drawn two lands by this point so we could play Baneslayer Angel. But So I was going to use Pack Rat for this, for this thumbnail. I don't know if there's a better card. Frank, I don't think you understand what makes things similar. That might be true. Oh, I see. Intriguing. Lily on one time. Is this really how you're going to do me? Why are we making pack rats? Oh, this is the first turn we, we've had to not make one, I guess. Well, last turn, I guess, sure. But I was looking at the art. I was bemoaning my lack of... Lack of rats. My lack of ratties. Well, I guess we're going to block. I don't foresee as much getting much value out of Brimaz here, even though you do get to kill... You get to, I guess you get to kill just Brimaz. Eh, might as well cancel that. And then I get to hit you for one? Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Why didn't you make a rat at the end? I hate you guys. Can never tell if you're joking. God, I hate discarding Sworn. Oh, God. So we've drawn all three six drops and two five drops. Sweet Shuffler. Shuffler. 
I literally did say this is the best draw I've ever had, and I like went on about it for like a minute because it was so good. And uh, now this. Okay. Not only are we not drawing lands, we're also not drawing any creatures that we can cast. We're literally, or spells we can cast for that matter. We're drawing, we're not drawing any two or three drops. We're drawing six drops, which is great with Thalia. Now, I, if we just killed the Thalia with the ultimate price, then we can at least play these two cards. Keeping the Masker Run because it might just be amazing at some point. But I don't feel like we're dead yet. I mean, we still have time to discard a Masker Run to a... Uh... I see. That was actually a reasonable draw. However, this was our probably one turn to actually get rid of the Thalia. Well, this is a hell of a game. We've drawn 14 cards and three lands. Not ideal. That's probably about 23%, I would say. Terastodon. Do you just kill my three lands? Or do you, you already kill three of your own lands, right? You have a million lands. Wow. Clearly you hate fun. Oh, nailed it. Joke's on you. Nine, five, six, seven, 16. I think we can alpha here. They block two. They take one of the four, six, seven, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm sure they block here. Sure. Hey, Alexa. That was my attempt at turning on all of your, uh, your Amazon Echoes at the same time. I don't know if it worked, but we'll see. Actually, then I'm tapping in uh, one, like a five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. I don't want them to see Massacre Worm. I guess I should have said something after because then 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 it just lights up and nothing happens afterwards, so. I feel like we're dead. Bite my lip and close my eyes. Take me away, these lands of my eyes. Gonna scoop this game right now, cause I'm probably dead. Alright. Well then.
So you can play at the Sword of Feast and Famine game green deck. I'm okay with 41, I guess. Actually, I kind of like Angel of Jubilation because it prevents them from sacrificing uh, their mirrors from their Awakening Zone. Not the mirrors, the, uh, the Scions from the Awakening Zone. Get in the zone! Awakening Zone! Take out the Gideon, bring in the Angel. Send me an Angel Magic Online right now. They also have Awakening Zone, and they had the other, the, they had a sword that I would like to be able to deal with with a, with this guy, but I don't know how ambitious that is, being able to hit the Chromatic Lantern for it. Well, we got the Angel and the Chromatic Lantern. This is actually a keepable hand. We have a bunch of things to do. Turn four, turn five. I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of that. Mono cuties over here. That's where they go, Sack Elder, Land, Acidic Slime again, right? Everybody just wants to kill my Chromatic Lantern with their Acidic Slimes. Take me away to paradise. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, that is a very... What well, we have Anguish on making? I also have Archangel of Thune that we're just going to play right now. Yes. Yes. So we can only do one thing here, which is unfortunate. Skin render can't target the bird. It has protection from black. Uh, Tom, I might have another draft in me after this one. We'll have to see. Other non-black creatures get plus one, plus one. You can't pay life. Or sack creatures to activate things. If you move this over here, it's a little scary. So I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, a hold-up, anguished, unmaking moment. So if we play Elspeth here, um, one, two, move this over. Maybe we do just make tokens. This guy doesn't have trample. And it would cost them seven mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. They don't have they don't have enough to do everything. Yeah, let's just Elspeth here. Alternatively, we could also kill the Pelucranos, but So my, my, my thinking is that if we draw any land, we can play Anguish to Making and one of the four drops next turn, which should be better.
And if they do uh, Polychronos to kill a bunch of guys for some reason, then they're also probably not attacking with birds. I guess they could play land, go pump Polychronos twice. Doesn't have trample, right? Till next time, if I choose my inventory target creatures, or control creatures. Okay. Yeah, we're not making the sword yet. We're gonna wait till they attack or or equip it to something else, and then we'll unmake that. Oh, oh, that's that's not good. Why would you do this? I thought we was friends. You think you know someone, and then they just make a copy of your guy. Can I get like an ultimate price or a hero's downfall? Actually, oh, we're gonna Elspeth here. Hello. <laughs> oh, fantastic! The onboard trick. Rat, one, two, three, four, skin render. All right. Uh, is this put a counter on every creature? Yeah, we should have actually played skin render and pack rat first. I just thought it was attacking creatures for some reason. Uh huh. So, what do we have for sword? Anguish done making and. That's pretty much it, right? We got all the white creatures to deal with it, I guess. Didn't pre-combat creatures, that is correct. deck looks fine. Wow, people get salty and wait for time out at MTG Arena too? That's really sad. Cheshire Pratt, he just looked at the price of Rakdos Signet. That's kind of funny. Um, I guess this is fine. Man, every game with this Chromatic Lantern. It's actually pretty okay, though. Where is my motivation? Oh, that's a good draw. That's a good card. I don't know if it's a good draw, per se. I'd rather have a two-drop. Chromatic Lantern probably should be the thumbnail here. Oh, You gotta one-up me, huh? Alright. I have two cards in hand? That's pretty good. Oh! Oh! The baddest of Larry's. All right, so long as we don't get too blown out here. Oh, wow. So many things are happening right now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I have six mana this turn? Okay. Seven mana now. I guess they can Duskwatch Recruiter twice. 
Oh, no, they're just going to cast something monstrous that they have, which is the last card in hand. Really? Yep, it's pretty good. Here we take 4 of 8, 9th, 11, 12, 13, 14, we die. So we actually have to play like skin render here. All right, they're in top deck mode at least. Soren on Aleshnorn puts us 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. We go to 1. I think we might still be dead. All right, land one time. Actually, that probably kills us. Come, come on, seriously? This actually kills us. We could play Soren negative six here. We go to seven, but then we take three, four, five, six, seven, exactly. That's so stupid. All right, well, that's the end. Ah. <sighs> Never works out with the black white deck in the end, unfortunately. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Still had a good time, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons.